My last video on alcohol was posted on the 22nd of April 2019, and it didn't irritate me at all that a brand new study was posted on the 23rd of April 2019. Nah, I'm not the type of person that lies awake at night knowing that the video that I've just spent hours posting is already outdated. Anyway, I posted an infographic on that study, and then a few days ago the main author messaged me saying that they had a new paper. So in my previous video I discussed how alcohol is a poor regulator of appetite and higher intakes can actually stimulate hunger. I also discussed how mechanistically higher doses can impair muscle protein synthesis, anabolic signaling and hormonal output with different effects being seen in males and females. So go to that video if you want to see that research in depth. Now a lot of the studies were acute, examining various effects after a single dose of alcohol. What the research was lacking was longer term trials and that's where both of these papers fit in. With similar designs, I'm going to amalgamate them into one video. In both studies, subjects were divided into five groups. One, non-training group, and four training groups. In the four training groups, two of them consumed alcohol, either in the form of beer or sparkling water with vodka. And two consumed no alcohol, one with non-alcoholic beer, the other with just sparkling water. Five groups total, four of those groups trained, two of those training groups consumed alcohol, and the other two didn't. The vodka and water drinks were standardised to have the same ethanol content as the beer. On Mondays through to Fridays, men consumed two 330ml drinks, one with lunch and one with dinner. Women consumed just one 330ml drink with dinner only. In both studies, subjects trained twice per week for 10 weeks. In the first study, examining body composition changes, changes in lean body mass and fat mass were similar in all training groups, regardless of alcohol consumption or not. In the second paper, they tested for cardiorespiratory fitness, muscular strength, and muscular power. It concluded that changes in VO2 max and hand grip strength tests were not significantly affected by alcohol consumption. Well, firstly, obvious disclaimer, alcohol intake can come with risks, and I'm not romanticizing alcohol consumption. However, there are a lot of people out there who enjoy the odd glass of wine or beer, or the delicious mojito, the drink created by angels. And a lot of these people want to know if it will have a significant impact on their fitness goals. And based on the research we have, it is safe to conclude that you can consume alcohol in moderation without significantly impacting body composition or fitness. So enjoy if you want, and safely.